vector is created successfully and I will be making those one also into my Excel sheet 175. Okay. So now I am going into the next entry goods receipt. So already I told you in procure to pay cycle process until now there is no general entries triggered from the finance point of view. Why? Because these are all activities performed by the or to, uh, the procure to pay team and uh, whatever the problems at the time of purchase requisition or purchase order and all taken care by the MM consultants. Okay, we don't involve any uh, finance consultant, especially these places. Okay, actually the finance involvement starts with the goods receipt. So at the time of my go, the goods receipt, so the general entry will be inventory account at R2. GRIR clearing account and I will show you how this entry is triggered in the system. So now I am going into the next step. My go. So this is a goods receipt and this goods receipt I will be going with based on the purchase order. Clear. So then click on enter. So my goods receipt the quantity and each and everything automatically picked by the system. Here I will change my document date and posting date as 4. Okay. So now I can see is there any pending information maintained here? Nothing, right? So where it comes to material. So where it comes to vendor, this is the vendor. You can see 0504 is the purchasing organization level vendor. And this is the general data. Okay. So I think each and everything we maintain. Okay. So here I need to select item. Okay. Then click on save. So now you can see the system is generated the material document number from the controlling point of sorry from the material management point of view. So five double zero double zero again double zero and one one two okay five six yeah so five six zeros and one one two okay so now i will uh, here usually the material document is displayed in this place okay but actually if you want to see this material document so this is the material document created by the MM side. But when it comes to finance side, we need to check our document, right? So I will go to FB03. So here I don't know my document type and my company code is AZ10 and fiscal year is 2024. Then go to document list and here my fiscal year is 2024. Now click on execute. So click on enter. So now you can see the latest document for WE. So we can see this is the document 1 lakh 50 thousand 15 thousand quantity into 10 rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand my hero my go document is successfully posted and already I told you what is the general entry for my go inventory account debit GRIR clearing account is credit here you can see inventory account debit with posting key 89 and GRIR clearing account is credited with posting key 96. So it means our accounting side also document is generated. So this is how the real time integration is happened. And what is the logic behind this? The simple logic. So in OBYC setting, whatever we maintained in the BSX transaction key. So I will show you the BSX transaction key. So within this BSX transaction key, whatever the GL account we maintained here, 200105, same the GL account is picked in this system. So this is the link between FI and MM module. And especially this OBYC settings is the exact place how we are connecting our finance module to material management module. So now I will going into this step also same GRIR also we maintained in the WRX transaction key. So then again, I will go back. 
so now i will going into the next entry as my row invoice receipt so invoice receipt what is the general entry so grir clearing account is debited and vendor account is credited so now i am going into this one okay so now i will be entered as 150000 okay so here i am changing date as 4 why because i opened the posting period sub to 4 only and i will go to the payment that is error only no issue so then click on this one and i will go to the gl account side so no problem enter at least one allocation item at the po reference so ding 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 i think i need to give the po number here so then what is my po number this is the po number and click on enter so here i will be maintaining my invoicing party as company code vendor 5500 but at the time of my go we entered the purchasing level supplier 5504 in real time projects also we maintain same like this only and here you can see the amounts and all automatically appeared based on the po and here you can see my vendor is clearly showing the vendor details and all now i will go to the gl account so i need to maintain my tax code as tax and purchases and then i will go to the gl account so here i will be giving which gl account what is the general entry for this grir clearing, GRIR clearing account attached to vendor account right so now i am selecting grir clearing account debit and the amount what i maintained as 1 lakh 50000 so here the tax code is also same i will be mention as 0% tax code now i will be click on save so invoice has contain some errors business place i need to maintain and the credit and debit amounts is some differences is there so now i will go to the basic data i will be removing this one and my business place is what is our business place az10 and again i will try to click on save so still i am getting some errors the balance 3 lakhs 3 lakhs so balance not zero 3 lakhs debits credits so this is fine only right why we are getting this error sorry so if i go to po references this is fine i think gl account the balances need to remove here then click on save so again i am getting some error message balance not zero so balance not zero 150000 is still it is in credited minus so then i will go to the po so here i will be maintained as 150000 so now i will be click on save so now you can see my document is posted okay same this document i will be updating here 510 510 5600789 so this is my myro document okay so again so i we can check in the accounting side right whether the entry is appeared or not so then i will be going into the accounting side 2022 in fb03 and i need to go to the document list here so 2022 okay so now you can see the latest myro related document and now you can see so 150000 amount and what is our general entry grir clearing account is debited and vendor account is credited 
So here you can see the vendor credited with posting key 31 and GRIR clearing is debited with 86. So it means until now, so we get the general entries as per the FIMM integration point of view. So now I am going into the payment to vendor. Okay. So what is the transaction code? So here payment to vendor, there is a two options. Either we are going with the manual payment or either we are going with the F110. So now, so we have only one document. So that's the reason I'm going with the manual payment only F-43. But if you have the multiple documents, even in real time projects, so most of the cases, 99% cases, we are going with the F110 program only. Why? Because in lifetime project, in lifetime working environment, we have thousands of invoices and thousands of vendors we need to pay directly. So that's the reason we used the F110 only. Even regarding this APP program in SAP S4 HANA system, already we maintained the videos in my YouTube channel. If you want to learn APP, you can come to this place and please go through these three videos. Then you will understand more how we are doing the APP program and all. So now I am going into the next step F-53. So then I will going into F-53 and today is the document date. My company code is AZ10. Otherwise, before I am going into this payment, so I will show you the vendor line item balances, FBL1N. So this is our supplier account, right? No, no. Company code supplier account will be FF5500. All items. If I click execute, so we can see for this vendor, we have a different, different amounts and especially this document, what we saw exactly just now. So this balance is the outstanding balance, 1,50,000. This balance now, we will try to make the payment and I will show you once the payment is done, how this status will be appeared. Okay, right now in red color, it means this is the open item. This is the outstanding item. It means we need to pay this amount to the vendor. So then I will go to F-53 and here I will be maintain my currency is INR and my house bank is HDFC. So for this company code and now I am selecting my house bank related GL account. So here I am selecting HDFC GL account. So amount here I will be maintained as 150,000. So here I need to select my supplier. So supplier I will be selecting double five double zero and click on I think the value date is mandatory field and here I will be mentioned as test payment also. Then click on process open items. Now you can see one item is appeared 1,50,000. This is correct only and the balances is zero. It means if I make the payment this one, the vendor balances will be zero. Then click on post. So now the document is posted 1902. And if you want to see the vendor balances, I will refresh this screen. So now you can see the open balance is closed already. So here you can see the document KZ 1902. What we saw just now 1902, the document we can see in this place is the payment KZ vendor payment. So you can see whatever the document we just now maintained in the system. So it means my outstanding balance is zero. So this is the thing in real time, how the FIMM integration is happened. So please practice one or two times. Definitely you will get these are all things also. But the problem is while we are comparing to SAP ECC systems to SAP S4 HANA system. So FIMM integration and FISD integration is little bit complex. It's not uh, more complex and all. It's little bit complex only. So, but once you practice one or two times, definitely you will get the entries as what I showed just now. So as per the procure to pay cycle, I showed you each and every general entry. Okay. Regarding this one, the BRS, this vendor clearing and all is happened 
uh, some OT83 settings and EBS settings and all. And even once that payment is done, we are going with the manual clearing with vendors also, F-44. So if I go to my vendor as 5500, so if I go to the transaction code as, company code as AZ10, so we are going with the process open items and again, so here there is no open process items. So that's the reason only I'm getting, there is no open items here. But usually if you have open items and all, so we will clearing this process also. Otherwise we are clearing with this BRS in OT3 settings and all. So this is the thing, how we will learn the FI and MM integration in the SAP S4 HANA system and that to the latest version 2022. So I will add this video into our YouTube channel. So you can go through this video one to two times and please try to learn in interview point of view. This is the very, very important concept. So regarding the process, regarding the process logic. So how the integration is happened and at the same time in interview, in interview point of view, how we will explain these are all things to the interviewer and how we will get the good impression and what is the processing logic behind this? Okay. So these are all things I will try to create one more new video, one more video and that video also I will update you. I will upload in the YouTube. At the same time, once this video is completed, you can go through that processing logic video also. Then you will understand more and those points only you need to explain in our interview. Okay. So that's it from my end guys. So even while we are watch this video, anyone have getting any errors or any things you can ping me in WhatsApp. I will be available at all time. Okay. But we practice. So definitely you will get these are all things. So I showed you each and everything configuration in this video from beginning to end. So that's the reason only I am putting this one as a FIMM integration end to end configuration with accounting entries. Accounting entries also I showed you. So I will upload this video into YouTube into parts, part one, two, three, like that. So please go through that videos one by one and please try to read and please try to understand the procure to pay cycle or the FIMM integration. Okay. So that's it from my end guys. So thank you. Thank you so much.